there was basically a Jew who was uh, penniless, uh, very pious. He was very, very impoverished, and he was uh, trying to marry off his daughter. So he was in need of a very large sum of money. Throughout his whole life, he put his trust in Hashem, but he understood you have to make your shtadlus, you have to do naturally what you have to do. Almost by chance, but he didn't see it as chance, he saw it as uh, by providence. Somebody bumps into him. They're walking in the street. By mistake, he bumps into him. The person apologizes. And as he's apologizing, you know, they start a little conversation. The man tells him that he's selling lottery tickets. So he said, maybe the reason why we bumped into each other was for a purpose. The cost of a ticket is insignificant, it's minor. And if he wins, the possible gain would solve all of this fine Jew's problems. No. So the last ruble he had, he spent it. He bought the ticket, he went home, and then he went to Davin for a miracle that he wins. Not far away from the house of this Jew, there was another Jew who was the exact opposite of the first Jew. Ashtad Ganev, he was unscrupulous, immoral, unethical. He was a businessman, but uh, completely without a conscience. And he regularly swindled others. He was also in debt for different reasons because of how many loans he took and how many business deals uh, he made. So he also decided to buy a lottery ticket. Maybe he would win and he would overcome his financial challenges. There was talk in town that this God-fearing Jew, the first one, bought the lottery ticket. So the Ganev, he had an idea. Since God would probably want to give the lottery to the first Jew more than to him. The first man is a Yerushalayim. So he thought to himself, he's going to slip into the house of the other Jew, steal his ticket, exchange the tickets, because if anybody's going to win, it'll probably be him. So he'll have more chances. The day of the girl came, and the pious Jew was actually stunned to learn that the Rabbi Nishalayim answered his prayers. His ticket, the ticket he thought was his, was the winning one. And the Ganev was devastated. He, by his own work, literally jeopardized himself from a Givaldic uh, sum of money. If he would have only held on to his ticket, it was the winning number. He gave it away, and that was the ticket that won. He took the first Jew to a Dintaira. And he said, I'm a Ganev. I stole his ticket, I gave him my ticket, but it's really my ticket. The Rav was the Ersameach, Rabbi Meir Simcha HaKoyen of Dvinsk, known as the Meshachachma. He listened to the two sides, and he said that the Ganav is wrong, and the pious man gets the money. He said, your mistake is not that you stole. The whole perspective that you have is wrong. God wanted the person to win, not the numbers to win. A person says, if I would have only been smart enough to choose these numbers, then this would happen. You're missing the entire point. The Yeshiva.net